to do bench dips. So there's a couple progressions that I want you to use for your bench dips. First and foremost, if you are just getting started, one of the best things that you can do is have a nice 90 degree angle at your knees. When you bench, when you dip down, it takes a lot of the pressure and actual weight off of your elbow joints and off of your triceps. If you then extend your legs, which would be step two, this is a much harder movement because much more of the weight is gonna actually be put onto your triceps. So start with this one, and then transition into this one, and obviously you can add weight as well later on. But I think another thing that's really important is to make sure your hands are just outside your hips. And when we go down, we don't wanna be going down too far forward. We wanna be going straight down, getting a nice deep stretch in our triceps, and contracting up. That's how we do a bench dip. I'll see you guys in the next one.